let's see, healthy, fresh, light, easy to make, um, no mayonnaise, so great for warm weather. This just might be your new favorite side dish. For this garden fresh quinoa salad, start by cooking your quinoa, and then while it's chilling in the fridge, you're gonna start on your veggies. Starting with the English cucumber, I like to cut this in half and then scrape out the seeds before cutting it long ways and then turning it sideways to cut it into a small dice. Now we're on to the onion and you just wanna cut off the ends and dice it a bit smaller than what you did the cucumbers, just so you don't get a real big bite of onion here in the salad. Onto the peppers, you just wanna make sure that you take the stem off and get those seeds out of there before dicing it about the same size as the cucumber. And I'll be the first to acknowledge that my knife skills are not professional level, but of course I'm at this weird angle and I know it looks pretty funny, but safety is the most important thing here, of course, when you're cutting these vegetables and just trying to get them at about the same size so that they are all evenly dispersed within the salad. When it comes to the herbs, you wanna make sure that those are really finely chopped and you can go over those a couple of times and then add them in with the veggies and the chilled quinoa. The dressing for the salad couldn't be easier. Put all of the ingredients in your blender or in my case, the smoothie maker all at once and then you just puree it until it's really smooth. I think this takes less than 30 seconds in my smoothie maker. The most important part is making sure that the garlic isn't left in any big chunks and then you pour it on top of the rest of your ingredients and mix it all in really well. So here it is, garden fresh quinoa salad. And I love how versatile this is. You can change up the veggies, change up the herbs. You can uh, substitute the quinoa for rice or pasta if you want. And if you wanna use a bottled dressing, you can get away with it and I'll be the last one to judge. And of course, you can find this recipe and many more at homewithshay.com. Shay Ryan, ABC Action News.